Hey, Gigi Quad, welcome to Battles of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool under here, and basically what this is, is a cordless stick vacuum. And we see for the one that we got right here from this brand. And right here in the bottom, they do provide some specs and feature about the product. So they mentioned how it is multifunctional. It is lightweight. It's super powerful suction. It has large capacity battery. They mentioned how it does have a large dustbin. It had a long battery life on here. And they mentioned how it has a high efficiency filtration system when you guys do use it. So this is basically what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So when you guys do open up, this is basically what the inside looks like. You can see there's a lot of stuff inside, but let's take it all out. So the first thing inside they do provide you guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And they also provide you guys like an extra filter for you guys to replace it if you guys do need to. And right here, we see they do provide some backup screws if you guys need to use it. Next thing inside, they do provide you guys one of these accessories, which is basically a little brush option that give you guys a blade option as well. So that way you can use it to clean up the product if you guys do need to. And if there's any here that's stuck on product, you can use that part right here to cut it. Next thing inside right here, they do provide one of the accessory head that's in use. So it hasn't used this really hard to read places, like in between like the cracks. And right here, we do have a button for you guys to release it. Next thing inside right here, they provide you guys another one of the accessories head. So this would be the first option if you guys want to use it. If you guys push in this button to push it down, that is basically another option available, which is basically a brush head option. So once you guys are done using this part, you guys can push a button and pull it back. So I can use this again. And same thing for the back part here, they do give you guys a release button for you guys to release it when you guys do want to take it out. Next things are here. It looks like they do provide a wall mount option for you guys to mount the vacuum on here. So that's probably what the screw option is for. Next things are here. They do provide you guys a stick. And you see right here, they do have the brand name. And when you guys do feed the materials on here, it definitely feels very really soft and very smooth. But when you guys do actually feel it, it definitely feels super high quality. So one side will go onto the actual vacuum and the other side will go onto the handle option. And you see right here, we do have a button for us to push. So if you guys do press on it, that basically allows you guys to extend it to make it longer if you guys do want to. But if you guys push the button again, that basically allows you guys to bring it back together to make it shorter. So really cool how to give you guys the option available. And then for the top part right here, see we do have the button as well for you guys to release it to take it apart, which I'll show you guys in a second. But right here is basically what the stick looks like. And if you guys take off this section right here, right underneath that, I mean, see we do have some more stuff. So let's take everything out as well. So here we do have the cable for you to plug it in to actually activate it and charge up the product. Right here, they do provide the battery for you guys to plug it in to actually activate the product. And they do have a button for you guys to press to release it when you guys do want to take it out. But right here on the side of the battery, you can see they do give you guys an option for you guys to plug in cable to recharge it, which I'll show you guys in a second as well. Next up right here, we do have the bottom part of the vacuum. So you see how they do have the brand name on here. Top part right here is where you guys insert the stick. Fan part right here, you can see the brush inside. And see in the front right here, we do have the LED light. So that way when you guys do use it, you can definitely see where it's vacuuming. And if you guys notice the way how the design device is actually really cool, it does have a self-standing option. So that way when you guys do put it away, it's actually very easy and very convenient. So once you guys are ready to use it, you guys can pull it backward and just use it normally. But basically for this part right here, it allows you guys to bring it up and down and left and right. And it does go pretty far down, so that way you can reach underneath like your sofa, your bed, or anywhere else. But once you have it done, you guys can bring it back up. And that way you can stand up by yourself. In the back part right here, you see they do give you guys two roller wheel options. And it does feel like high quality roller wheel option. So that way you can glide really smoothly when you guys do use it. And if you guys can see for the bottom part right here, this is what the bottom part looks like. So they do have like two smaller roller wheels right here in the bottom as well. And they do have the brush throughout the product. And same thing for the inside. So that way when you guys do use it, it will help you guys push in all like the dust, the dirt, everything into the middle and suck it inside into the actual vacuum head. And for this brush option, if you guys want to take it out to wash it, you definitely have the option available by pushing this button. And that basically allows you guys to release it to take this part out and clean it if you guys do need to. And once you get it done, you have to push it back down and that will lock it in. Another thing that I do want to mention is the fact that for the fan part right here and right here as well, and see they do have a bumper design. So that way, if you guys actually need to bump it against the wall, it definitely has that protection, which is really nice. But that is basically what the bottom part looks like. Next thing inside, they give you guys another one of these accessory head that's in use, which is pretty cool because it is like a clear view design. So that we see everything that's being vacuumed inside, not like the other one that's on top right here. And if you guys notice for this one, it's longer, so that can help you guys reach hard to reach places much further than this one on top, which is pretty cool. But same thing for this one, it does have the button for you guys to release it when you guys are done using it. And then last but not least, we do have the top part of the vacuum. If you guys do take it out, once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. 
So they do have the product name on top and throughout the part as well. But basically for the front part right here is where you're going to insert the stick. Right here we do have the button for the push to activate the product. Back part right here we do have a lock button and an unlock button that will basically allow you guys to use the manual mode or the automatic mode. So basically the manual mode is where you guys manually click it to continue using it. But if you guys do lock it and it stays on, which is really cool and very convenient. Bottom part right here, we see we do have a button for the push. I believe that is the mode button for the change different mode. So supposedly for this vacuum, there's three different modes available. There's eco mode, there's a normal mode, and a high power mode. So when you guys use the eco mode, you can use it for around like 50 minutes. But if you guys using the high speed level on here or the highest power on here, you can get around like 10 to 15 minutes of usage. And if you guys can see throughout the part on the side right here, and this side as well, we do have the ventilation fan to help it from overheating and also like filter out like the dirty air. Top over here, you see we do have an option for you guys to unlock it. So if you guys do twist it, that basically take out the filter for you guys to replace it if you guys do need to. Once you guys are done, you guys lock it back in. So very easy and very simple. Bottom part right here is where you're gonna insert the battery. So all you need to do is just insert it in like this. Make sure it snaps in. Once it snaps in, they already start using it. And if you guys notice for the battery right here, there's three indicator light. So that is basically how you guys know the battery life on here when you guys do use it. And for this part right here is a large dust bin. That's basically where all the dust and the trash is gonna go in. So the way how you guys open up, you guys wanna push in this button. And that will open the bin for you guys to take out the trash and pour it out if you guys do need to. And for the filter that's inside right here, the way how you guys take it out, if you guys need to wash it, clean it, replace it or whatever, all you need to do is just push like this to take it out. So that is basically what the inside looks like. And like I mentioned earlier, there is a filter for you guys to replace it, which is basically the backup option if you guys do need to, which is basically inside right there. So the way how you guys take that part out, you basically want to close this part up, and you guys want to push the red button on the bottom, and that basically allows you guys to take it out. So once you guys do take it out, now you can take off the filter inside to replace it if you guys do need to. And I love how they do have this lock option for you guys to hold it in place, so that way the filter can't come off as easy. But once you guys are done using that part, you can put everything back together. So just like this, open it back up, put this part back inside, close it back up, and it's all set. So what I want to do right now is to put all the different parts together to show you guys what it looks like. So we'll start with different head first to show you guys how to use it. So let's say for example, if you guys pick a random one like this one, you guys want to put it in. Let me see how it is locked in. Once you guys are done using it, you guys can push this button to release it to take it out. Same thing applies to any other head. So just like that, take it out. And same thing for this one. Take it out. So very easy and very simple. And then for the wall mount option, if you guys want to use it, the way how you guys use it, you basically want to hook it in the back part right here like this. And once you guys hook it on, then it's all set with the wall mount option. Obviously after you guys screw it in and etc. But now let's put on the stick and the bottom part of the vacuum to show you guys what it looks like once you guys do fully set up. So if you guys do insert it in, and also for the bottom part as well. Once you guys do fully set it up, this is what the part looks like. So if you guys do press on this button right here, it should turn on. Let me see how the light does turn on when you guys do use it. And if you guys notice when I press on this button, I have to hold on to it in order for us to use it. So that is basically the manual mode option. If you guys do push it down, if you guys try again. That is basically the continuous mode option. So really cool how to give you guys those two different options available because not a lot of vacuum give you guys that option. It's usually just one push button for you guys to turn it on or turn it off. Where for this one give you guys a manual option for you guys to hold it. So just like this. So very cool. But now let's change the different mode on here to show you guys what it looks like. So if you guys do turn it on. If you guys press on this button. So that's mode number one, mode number two, mode number three. So that is basically what each one sounds like when you guys do use it. Mode number one, like I mentioned, is the eco mode. And mode number three is the highest mode or the highest power that's on here. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now I'm just plugging cable to show you guys how to charge it first and how to know when it's charging. And then we'll put this down on the ground to show you guys how it works. All right, so we have to plug it in. Once you guys do plug it in, and see for the top part right here, it does show you guys that it's charging. So right now it's barely two out of three. 
So it's almost like not even halfway charged. So if it's the first time using Poly, you definitely want to fully charge it before I do use it. But now let's put this down on the ground to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do set it up and what the pot looks like when you guys do use it. All right, so right here we do the pot. And you see how when you guys do put it on the ground, this is basically what the pot looks like. And you see how it actually stands up by itself, which is pretty awesome. So this is basically how tall it can go if you guys don't extend it. Now I'm actually extended to show you guys how high it can go. So once you guys do extend it, this is basically how high it can go. So obviously when you guys extend it higher, if you can see the balance that's on here is not as good compared to when it's lower, but it does stand up by itself. You just have to be careful a little bit because if you guys use a little bit too much force, it will lose its balance, if you can see. So every time when you guys finish using it, you probably want to actually bring it back down. So that way there's less of a chance of it falling down. So now I'm actually turning it on to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do use it. So if you guys do turn it on, This is one. This is two. This is three. And when you guys do use it. And you see it definitely goes pretty slow when you guys do use it. And when you guys do use the actual product to kind of go back and forth, it actually goes really smoothly. Like the wheel that's on here is not that loud, which is pretty awesome. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to bring it left and right, you definitely have the option available as well. But once you guys are done using it and pouring out the trash, you have to bring it back up. To have it stand up by itself and put it against the wall if you guys want to. Or like I mentioned, if you guys want to use the wall mount option, you guys also have the option available as well. So whether if you guys want to use it at home, in office, or anywhere else, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not to work or not. So for this vacuum, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys in the market looking for a high quality vacuum that basically gives you guys a similar design, similar functionality, and everything else I mentioned on here. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.